In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your steering wheel work in any Roblox game. If you do enjoy this video or if you find it helpful, please do make sure you drop a like and also subscribe. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure you have any Roblox game launched. It doesn't matter what game, just make sure you have Roblox open. And then what you want to do is head to the top link in the description or go to this website, x360ce.com. This does look a little bit dodgy, but trust me, it is perfectly fine. Then press download for all games, and then that is all you need to do on this website. Make sure you press all games and not for 32-bit or for 64-bit games. And then that should download wherever it normally downloads things on your computer. Then you wanna open that, and if you use WinRAR, it will look something like this. If you don't use WinRAR, it will just look like any other application that you download. So what you wanna do is you wanna keep that page open, but you wanna go to your search bar, and you want to type in Roblox. And then you want to make sure Roblox player comes up and then you want to press open file location just here You then want to right click on Roblox player and again just here It will say open file location make sure that you press that and then you should see this page And this is where you need to be so head back to this thing You just downloaded and drag that application into this folder just here And it should look just like that and then it should bring you to a page just like this You want to make sure that your steering wheel has been detected if it hasn't, go to add and you will see it here as one of your USB devices. Just click on it and press add selected device and it will appear along the top just here. Now, I'm only going to be showing you how to do the accelerator, the brake and the steering in this video, but you can also do other things like shifting up indicators, the horn and whatever else you want to do. But I'm only going to be showing you steering and accelerating and braking as I said. So to steer, you want to click on the stick axis Y here and you want to press this little down arrow and then you want to press record. Now, as soon as you press record, don't press anything else on your keyboard or on your steering wheel. What you want to do is grab your steering wheel and turn it all the way to the right. Just keep turning it all the way to the right until this lights up green. And then you'll see these numbers change depending on where you're steering the steering wheel. For example, when it's in the middle, it should be somewhere around zero. Don't worry if it's not exact. And when you steer it to the right, it should increase. And when you steer it to the left, it should go to the minuses. That's how you know it's working. And then you want to come up here to trigger on the right you want to click it again and click record and then this should be your accelerator pedal so whichever pedal you want to use for accelerator just push it all the way down and again you should see these numbers go up depending on how much you're pushing down on your accelerator and then just over here again you want to do the same click it press record and then push down on your brake pedal and you should see it do the same do not click off this video just yet because you do need to do some other things for it to actually work so once you've done this just double check that they all are working and they're all moving correctly and then what you want to do is you want to go up here and press add game and then you should have roblox player beta.exe here now if you don't all you need to do is come back to this folder come up here click on the directory up here and then Control c to copy that then you want to come down here press add paste that just in here and it will take you right to this folder then just double click on roblox player beta and it will add it just here as you need it then you should have x360c and roblox player beta on here you want to make sure controller one is showing up as green as well if it isn't make sure you press enable map to device and it will turn green just like that if you don't do that it also won't work what you then want to do is come over to games at the top this is the final thing you need to do make sure that you have roblox player beta.exe selected then you want to make sure that com and pid vid are both ticked and all of the other ones along here are unticked once you've done that you want to come over to the input files and you want to make sure all of the 64-bit ones are ticked make sure the 32-bit ones are not ticked otherwise again it won't work and once you've done that you have set up your steering wheel correctly so you can leave this open you can close it it doesn't matter but what you do need to do is relaunch roblox so i'm just going to leave the game here and rejoin into a brand new server here we go so i've just loaded into roblox and i'm now going to test if it works so all you need to do to test if it works is steer your steering wheel all the way to the right and then your roblox avatar should begin to walk to the right and the more you turn it 
the faster you should go. And if you turn it just here, you'll be the normal Roblox walking speed as well. And you can really change the speed on how fast you want to walk. Now that is the one flaw to using a steering wheel for Roblox. Sadly, it does only work for driving. If you want to walk around, you're still going to have to use your keyboard. If you've got it connected, you can try walking around now and you'll see that it really is not easy to walk around. It's really quite difficult and quite annoying and definitely not practical and something that you want to be doing every time you play Roblox. But of course, the main event, go to a car spawner, spawn in any vehicle. It doesn't matter what vehicle it is. And then you can test your accelerators and your brakes as well. So I'm going to push down on my accelerator now. And as you can see, I'm slowly beginning to drive forward. And you know I'm not pressing W because if I was, it would be going all the way forward just like that. You can't really go slowly just by pressing W. And then you also want to test your steering work. So just slowly begin to steer, slowly accelerate. And you can see it is really, really nice to drive in Roblox with a steering wheel. I would recommend, however, you do change a few settings. So if you're using a Logitech steering wheel, then go to the Logitech G Hub. You can see I use the G920. Click on this and I recommend ticking centering spring in non-force feedback games. And then turn your centering spring strength right down and then it should make your steering wheel a lot easier to turn and then what I would also recommend for Roblox especially is turning the operating range down from 900 degrees down to 360 which is just one full rotation of the steering wheel it just makes it a lot easier and it's a lot more practical for Roblox and now if you try driving around it'll be much easier to steer your steering wheel for starters because it won't be as stiff and it will also be easier to steer because you won't have to steer it as much to take nice little turns. And as you can see, just driving around is really, really cool. You can tell that I'm using the steering wheel because you can't make turns like this smooth uh, if you were using your normal keyboard. So yes, this does work. Please share it with anyone you think it could help. And if you got a steering wheel recently, I hope you have fun with this. Please make sure you like and subscribe so more people can see it. But thank you very much for watching this video. As I've said, check out all of my other social medias from the link in the description. Join my Discord server, discord.gg slash amaze. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at amazeplays underscore. And of course, follow me on TikTok at amazeplaysyt. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye!